this video basically i am going to tell you how we can integrate service now and atlassian jira bidirectionally so in this video we are going to use this application that is available on uh, jira side if you go to the apps and then you can browse for all the application this one service now jira 2 integration this is provided by getint integration they also provide for many other platforms jira azure service now salesforce so basically what this application is this is like uh, we are going to use this to auto sync task and incident bidirectionally in your uh, like real time like suppose we are creating an incident at service now and then that incident is automatically created here as a task or as a story in our jira board and in any other in any project and vice versa like if you are going to create any task here then a uh, incident is created there in the service now and automatically and let me tell you more about this application we can do two way uh, synchronization of task service request incident we can also sync attachments we can also sync comments we can also sync status custom fields and lot more lot more things by using this application and also they provide uh, they provide a support monday to friday 8 to 10 cet and they also provide us this documentation on how we can do this integration so here is the link of the documentation docs.getin.io using this we can integrate jira service now this is a video of four minutes we can use this to uh, build a workflow in just five minutes and this is a step-by-step -step guide that is provided by them so now i will go to jira and i'll show you how to create integration first we need to go to the apps and then i need to click to this jira service now integration so if i click here jira service now integration okay it is already opened here so if you go here in the workflows you need to create integration i've already created two i'll just show you how to create new integration so what do you want to build continuous sync on migration just close this okay let's close this one as well okay so here you need to tell like what are you going to connect uh, i'll tell i am going to integrate jira then you need to create a connection for this you need uh, the url link of your instance in my case it is this and then you need to click next and then you need to provide the email address and personal access token uh, in the in the documentation they will tell you how how you can how you can create a personal access token and then you can add this and then similarly when you add this then i've already added this so this is my connection to jira and then you can specify for which project do you want this integration to work so in my case let's select my kanban board project and then if we click on connect then this jira we are connected with jira now we need to select service now on the other side and select service now and here also we need to create a connection and how we can create a connection is also provided in the documentation basically we need to create a user and then we can also create that connection so i've already created two connections so let's utilize those all right so now we need to map like when which kind of incident is created then our jira needs to be created so for the mapping yeah we need to map okay what at the jira side what we need to create we need to map task and on the incident let's say uh, we will take incident here and if i click add then we are going to uh, map our incident creation with the task creation on jira side so if you see here that something status syncing will not work first we need to map okay if i click here then if you go to status and then status we need to uh, map with the incident on the incident side status is i think state yeah here we go and then we need to map available options we can select here first we have to do a task state and then incident is new i think yeah incident is new we'll add this then we'll select other in progress task of jira and on incident it is also in progress we'll add this one as well value and then on jira side it is done it, task is closed and on incident we can either select closed or result we will select close because it is, it is a final state then we click add and here we go so we have mapped this and also we have we can map many more things like suppose when you are creating incident so suppose you want a field 
to be populated on the task creation or suppose you're creating a task with a certain field and do you want that to map to incident so suppose like if i want assignee of the jira should be mapped to assign to of the incident then i can map this as well but yeah for this assignee we need to configure this we need to provide some value as well like it, it could be anything we can select here on the jira side right now user is only me and here we can say Apple tutor and then we can click on add and then if we close this see now we are not getting that icon so if i click on apply or also we can comments and sync attachment section we can enable synchronize attachment we can enable this as well click on apply and uh, yeah and then we can provide a name of the integration and then we can just create this i'm not going to create this as i've already created two integration so this is our integration that is enabled so what i will do is i will create an incident at service now and and let's see if that is getting created here at the g end or not so i'll go here and create an incident okay so caller should it could be anything i'll provide this short description is and i click save yeah so we have created this incident and we need to check if this is getting created here or not it will take some time for the integration to run meanwhile we'll also create a task here to see if this task is getting created at the service now level or not so i'll, I'll go ahead create project should be this we should type is task status to do and we'll say here is some jira and create okay see our incident that we have created at the service now end is here so incident created from service now end and this is the task creation from jira end uh, we have to check if this is created at the here or not this is the incident that we have created we need to check the task that we created at the jira level is created here or not we can check those things if we go here in the reporting we can check the syncs runs and run error sync error sync jobs all of all of these things here this is created this is the updated one this is just we have created right now and we have to check the task this one task creation from jira and is created here or not see it will take couple of minutes actually to get created meanwhile what we will do is I will try to add some comments here from service now and, and let's see if these are getting uh, mapped or not. So I'll say and okay, we have added here. We need to check if these connect comments are there or not. It will take some time. We'll wait. We now we need to check this task creation from Jira is created on service now and or not. So here we can see task creation from Jira and this is a task that we have created on the Jira side and uh, incident is created here. So our integration is working bi-directionally. We created one incident and it is created at Jira side and we created one task and it is created incident side. Also we have added few comments on an incident from incident service now side that is comment from service now and on this one incident created from service now and we can check that one as well i think yeah this one if comments are synced or not so yeah comments are also synced here or oh, that is admin we are also getting these details we can just like uh, modify these as well to see the name actual name of the person but yeah for that we need to explore the integration uh, efficiently or in a more detailed way so this is our like five minute uh, workflow that is working for uh, integrating service now and uh, jira so this is the documentation thanks for watching this video